Hey people, this is John Scott from Northern Quarter, and we are playing Inside. Inside is the game from Play Dead, and it came out just over a month ago, I believe. And I know that that means that a lot of you have already played it, but uh, I don't know. I'm excited to do it, and I know it's coming out for the PlayStation 4 really soon, so, you know, if you haven't had a crack at it and you're wondering whether you should buy it, um, maybe sit in with me and try this. Now, I did take a short run through with this game and I played about half an hour of it and the game capture software went uh, south on me. So I am replaying the first part of this. So I won't feign surprise. I know what comes up for the first bit and then hopefully in part two we're moving on to uh, new territory. But here we are in a amazing, beautiful, evocative forest. We're moving our child in peril forward. He doesn't have a lot of tricks up his sleeve. He can walk. He can run. He can jump. He can grab things. He's grabby. And that's about it. But look, they had little touches like that, which is just great. How he uh, takes care of his balance. And he is not alone. But this forest has strange machines in the background, almost capsules. A little bit of light in the background. Oh, interesting. It looks like they're waiting for me to get inside. And that's okay, guys. Keep going. I'm going to take the path of death ahead of me. It looks uh, pretty enticing. Be great if it uh, backed over me. All right, bye truck with sinister looking men. I'm gonna continue on my way. Those really are pretty sinister looking machines in the background, or they're porta potties, either way. Uh oh. All right. And they hear me. Are they wearing masks? Well, that's interesting. I wonder how ugly you have to be to wear a mask in the dark in the woods. All right. He's a good sneaker, that kid. Sneak past the best of them. So the game is getting you used to some uh, pretty basic uh, movements and actions. We've got a derelict fridge, and uh, we use it to help us get up this obstacle. And you know that dog's coming into play at some point in time. Uh oh All right. That barking means one thing. Act fast. Figure out your plan. Commit to it. Hey guys with flashlights, don't mind me. I always swim here at this hour of night. There we go. There's the dog. That's scary. That gets me every time. Oh! Look at those teeth. If this is his shortcut somewhere, it's the worst shortcut ever. Uh, this forest reminds me of one I grew up near. Except that the one I grew up near had like 90% less doom. Oh, beautiful sound design. Listen to that. Are those? Those are car tires crunching on a road. And 
I am busted. Hey guys, just going for my jog. Oh! He knows what he's doing. He's gonna do just fine. Just keep the dogs away from him. That's all I ask. I like that uh, stumble he does when he lands. That's uh, that's great. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow. Here we go. It's a foot chase. Oh, another stumble. I don't know whether I would trip over those logs, but I'm not going to chance it. Oh, what a heartless bastard. Does he think he's putting me out of my misery? I want to live. I want to live. Oh. Here come the dogs. A three-headed dog with two extra bodies. Oh! Needs air. Wow, that's lovely. Lovely and disgusting in equal measure. Okay. So I do know there's a little chamber down here. You follow the electrical cord. And that electrical cord leads up to a very strange looking device. Well, uh, people were here. That's the remains of a stamped out fire, I think. You can see a little trail of smoke. Uh, and more of those strange chambers that were in the forest with the portholes. Oh. Come on, you can do this. There we go. Nice that that didn't collapse the whole platform. So these weird things... Uh, are meant to be disabled. You can't grab what you pulled out of them. And by things I mean there's more. So one down. So their flashlight is aimed right at the uh, at the point of that rock where I would expose myself. And I think when I'm past the light, I can grab air and not be spotted. Unless that light moves around. But no. Dead pigs. You don't see dead pigs just laying around on the side of a water reservoir very often. And I think I know why. It's not a pretty sight. Solid, oh, <laughs> solid farm country. Very tall corn. Look at that. It's very interesting that just working with the uh, palette of sort of drab grays, they're able to switch it up a little bit. Oh, look, look, 
What is going on? Oh, I made some new friends. Little chickadees. Look at that. They love me. They think I'm their mama. No oh, more dead pigs. Oh, way more dead pigs. Concentrate on the chickadees. Think nice thoughts. You see a rope, you climb it. That's the rule of these games. When you're on the rope, if you see a doorway, you swing towards it. So, a room with farm machinery. Let's let our little chickadee friends in. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. A switch. Piece of farm machinery. High up top, a uh, bale of hay. A wall that I cannot get over. Guys, form a, uh, a step. A few steps. Form about five steps, guys. Oh, look at that. They're jumping up. I hope they're not flesh-eating. Nice. So what does this machine do? This machine... This machine knocks over bales of hay that are set up high. And it does it, not with hay. Chickadees. Come on, guys. I got a plan. I know you can't form steps. Wow. That guy's slow. He knows. He's sprinting. In you go. Lovely. It's very sad. One of them died. The rest don't seem to hold it against me. We're still pals. Not very cheerful weather. Alright, I think uh, a dive is in order into a pile of dead pigs. And look at that. Strange tendrils. But they don't seem interested in me. What? Oh, look at that. One's coming out the side. Oh, what's it trying to do? Is it trying to touch my forehead? Come on, come on. Here he comes. Nope. <laughs> okay. I've never worked with a cart full of dead pigs before, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Thanks, guys. Oh look, more tendrils. Ew. I really should have done a running jump and tried to clear them. Looks like the uh, rain might let up. There's light in the sky. More dead pigs.
And that looks just wrong. Ugh. <laughs> Landed on its head. Come on, you. Better be heading somewhere. Oh, thank you, murder pig. What do we have here? Oh! Look at that thing's waving at me. It's beckoning me. It's beckoning me forward. It's like, hello. Oh! No! Remember in uh, Limbo, there was those uh, larvae, and one of them landed on your your uh, hero's head and mind controlled them. A little similar. Okay, we're going to get the pig in on this. Come on, guy. <laughs> okay. For a machine, it's not... Well, I guess if you're an adult... He's a kid, so if you're an adult, I guess maybe it's conveniently placed. So we have these catatonic people uh, behind us, but we woke them up a little bit. Oh, and me moving moves them. Or me intending to move moves them. Oh, that must have hurt. Okay, guys. Oh, look, look. To the left, all right. You guys need four people. Hello, four people. Four people. That's what I told you all along. Well done. Well done, guys. Hmm. Yeah, give it a good pull. Give that scaffolding pull. Oh, what a mess. Pig, you owe me. You owe me big time. Oh, look, the little... So it's not a tendril, it's like a worm. Oh, the worm's alive. All right, pig, if I were you, I would not go near that worm. Just word to the wise. This is a, a mega farm. I mean, look at this machinery. It's crazy. I assume it's a farm. Maybe it's a factory. Maybe it's a factory out in the middle of farmland. Okay. Oh, sunshine. That certainly forms uh, appropriate relief to finally see a little bit of sunshine after all that gray. Oh, look at this. It's a lineup. If that's a lineup to the uh, washrooms, guys, I'm good. I've already emptied my bowels many times, especially when the dog was chasing me. Uh, I'll just uh, continue on my way. Oh, do I hear snoring? <laughs> snoring? I'm sorry. Am I boring you? Oh, wait. That's not the viewer. That's the guys in the background. I get it. I get it. We have a chain above me, and we have a cart, and the cart is attached to a uh, wheel. Uh, it's attached by, it must be rope. Okay, that looks grabbable now. All right. 
This is my job interview for this uh, factory. And I think I'm doing well. I think I've got the job. This is uh, part six of the interview, familiarity with chains and pulleys. Okay. Oh, I hear chickadees. Hey, buddies. Oh. They know I killed their buddy. All right, it's a big space. And uh, that uh, crate or safe looks uh, very significant, especially as it's above this um, weak area of the floor. More of those chambers behind me. Mm, and a switch above me on the second floor. Interesting. And probably a good way for me to plunge to my death. Okay, and uh, a cargo of wood, hmm, which I can manipulate. All right, and a switch, and the switch moves the cargo wood up and down. And I want to get up there. All right. So I want to jump onto that, obviously. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh huh. It is a safe. Oh! <laughs> That didn't work out so well. Oh. That worked out better for sure. Beautiful. Let's see what my former self died down in. So that electrical uh, cable looks very familiar, yellow. And the space, there's a guy in the background, another one of those uh, catatonic people. Uh, one of those, I guess we're gonna call these mind control devices. Um, and a switch, and the switch has the uh, two left lights lit. and a door. And I'm very grateful that uh, vicious dogs did not come charging out of that door. Thanks, Play Dead. Okay. Now another one of those devices. Oh, that one uh, destructed in a slightly cooler way. So there's nothing we can do with those. As far as I know, we are just destroying them. Huh. And up here we have a doorway. He's not having a lot of luck with the doorway. However, Oh, the mind control device might help. Who set up these mind control devices? Probably the people who uh, turned those turned those people in the back into uh, zombies. All right. So those are pressure plates on the ground. Two pressure plates, two people. I 
I'm guessing I want to keep both of them in here. Keep on mistaking the uh, action jump button for the action button. All right, guys, work together. Come on now. Beautiful. Oh, run towards the light. Always run towards the light. Lovely, look at that. And there we are, we're on some kind of a rooftop. So we're going to leave this here at part one. And the good news is, like I said, um, I had a little bit of a catastrophe with the game capture software, and I've actually played this part. But from here on in, it's all new stuff for me. And uh, that's going to be more fun for me to record it while I'm reacting to the things I see. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the first part of the playthrough of Inside. And uh, see you in part two where we move forward and we're trying to get this guy to relative safety. All right, take care of yourselves. This is John Scott from Northern Quarter, and we will see you on part two.